So now that the wildcard round is out of the way in the postseason, we can now start focusing on the division series round and the eight teams that remain. I'm going to break down every series and I'm going to give you guys my predictions on who I think is going to take the series with a series game count. So let's jump into the first series that I'm going to talk about, the Yankees and the Indians. So the Yankees are off a hot victory against the Minnesota Twins. They won that game 8-4 to in the AL wildcard round. And the Yankees actually looked pretty good because they started off really bad. You know, Luis Severino had a really rough first inning, only got a third of the way through, and he gave up three runs. The Yankees' bullpen was able to bounce back and, you know, shut down the rest of the game pretty much, and the Yankees' offense answered right back by scoring three runs of their own. So they got to feel good about playing with their backs to the wall. But now they have to face the American League best Cleveland Indians, the reigning American League champions, most likely the favorite to do it again. If we look at the season series between the Yankees and the Indians, the Indians won the series 5-2, to two, and the Indians actually swept the season series in Yankee Stadium. They went undefeated against the Yankees on the road. I think that's a big deal because the Yankees were so confident at home the other night, and if they have to face a team that actually, you know, beat them pretty well at their home ballpark, they got to be a little bit scared about that. I think the biggest key in this series is going to be game one because the Indians are not starting Corey Kluber. They're saving him for game two. So if the Yankees could possibly sneak a win against Trevor Bauer, I think that's huge for them. But like we said, we were talking about the first game against the Twins. The Yankees bullpen had to go eight and two thirds innings. So they need a good performance out of their starting pitching. And that's going to be really tough to do in Cleveland. So I think if the Yankees can split the two games in Cleveland they'll have a much better shot going into Yankee Stadium but overall especially if the Yankees don't get that game one and they have to go back to their home ballpark down 2-0 against the Indians who like I said did sweep them in Yankee Stadium I think it's not going to really be good for the Yankees at all I have the Cleveland Indians winning this series 3-1 so now let's move over to the next American League Division Series matchup. We've got the Red Sox and the Astros. The Astros had the best record in the American League West. They didn't have much competition. They pretty much ran away with that division from June onward. There was really no competition for them. The Red Sox, on the other hand, had to kind of fight for the season and fight for their uh, American League title, or American League East title, I'm sorry, against the Yankees, who were right on their tail all year. So they had to be a lot more competitive in their own division to really get that uh, division title secured. In the season, Season series between the two teams, the Astros won it 4-3, to three, and Houston won three out of the four games played at Fenway Park. And I think this series is going to really, really revolve around pitching. I think there's some other division series matchups that are going to be very, uh, you know, score. They're, they're going to have a high score. They're going to have a lot of hitting. I think this series is going to be very dependent on the pitching. Both teams have really good starting rotations. We're going to see a lot of really good starting pitching in here with Justin Verlander, Chris Sale, Lance McCullers, uh, Dallas Keuchel, even the bullpens with Craig Kimbrell from the uh, Red Sox and then Ken Giles from the Astros. It's going to be a very, very good pitching series. I also don't think there's going to be many home runs hit. I think a majority of the runs that we're going to see are going to come off singles and base hits and doubles and like down the line or something like that. And Houston was number one in the American League in hits this season. And with Jose Alt Tuve and Carlos Correa and the dudes they have on their team. I think Houston's going to take this series three to two. I think the advantage falls to them. So now let's move over to the National League. Let's take a look at the Nationals and the Cubs. The Nationals won the NL East pretty easily. The Cubs had to fight similar to the Red Sox. They had to fight against the Brewers pretty much to the last, I can't remember if it was the last day of the season or the second to last day of the season, but the Cubs did win their division. If we look at the season series between these two teams, the Nationals took the season series four to three. They were also the two best teams down the stretch. They had the top two records down the stretch in the last like two or three months of the season. This series is pretty interesting because it's hard to pick against the Cubs but then again the Nationals have also struggled in the playoffs but I think the Nats get the pitching edge I think their starting rotation is a little bit better than the Cubs the Cubs did get Jose Quintana at the all-star break or, or not the all-star break the trade deadline I'm sorry and he you know he has kind of you know bolstered their rotation a little bit but I think with all the guys the Nationals have with Scherzer with Gio with Strasburg I think their Nat their starting rotation is just incredible the two offenses are also really good Anthony Rizzo's had a great year Chris Bryant has a a very similar year to his MVP season. Uh, Bryce Harper is going to be a bit of a question mark for the uh, 
uh, Nationals. Ever since he's come back from injury, he's kind of struggled a little bit. But then again, the Nationals still have Anthony Rendon. They still have Ryan Zimmerman. So their bats are still going to be swinging pretty well, I think. And one of the biggest things is the Cubs bullpen has been fairly questionable as of late. They haven't had a very good end to the season. So I think if the Nationals are able to score some runs late, they're going to find themselves ahead going into a lot of eighth and ninth innings. Like I said earlier, the Nationals have been bad in the playoffs the past couple years. And last season, the Cubs were extremely clutch. They were with their backs against the wall for three games. This one is so tough for me to pick. I really, really could flip flop on this. One argument or another could really make me switch sides. I don't know who I really think is going to win. I'm just going to go with my gut and I'm going to do what my gut tells me. I have the Nationals winning this series 3-2. to two. It's so hard to pick against the Cubs. I'll probably eat my words, I know. But, you know, I'm just going with my with what my gut tells me, and I have the Nationals. But like I said, I could really go either way on this one. So hard of a series to pick. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at the other National League Division Series matchup between the Dodgers and the D-backs. Now, the Dodgers are my personal pick to win the World Series. At least they were at the beginning of the season. It's been kind of hard to say that near the past, like, you know, month of the season with the way they've been playing. But... I just got to stay with my prediction, man. I can't just falter. Uh, but the D-backs actually won 11 of the 19 season series games. The D-backs took it 11 to 8. And as I was doing my research on this series, I didn't realize, man, the D-backs have had the Dodgers number, man. The D-backs have won the last six games against the Dodgers in the regular season. It's been a while since the Dodgers have actually beaten the D-backs. Not to mention the Diamondbacks are coming off that huge wild card win where they were pretty much neck and neck with the Rockies until the end of the game when they started to pull away a little bit. One big question mark that I have is Clayton Kershaw. He is starting game one and we all know how Kershaw has been in the postseason. Kershaw is always good in the regular season. He's one of the best regular season pitchers of all time, but he's always struggled in the playoffs. I don't think he's ever had to deal with the D-backs in the playoffs, but we all know how he's been against the, uh, the, the Mets and the Cardinals and the Nationals, so it's going to be interesting to see how he is against the D-backs. I find that if Kershaw has another struggle in the postseason, there's got to be a big question mark there. Like, what is going on, Kershaw? The Dodgers have had a really good bullpen all season, but their bullpen has actually struggled a lot against the Diamondbacks, so I think the Diamondbacks get a little bit of an edge there. Also, Arizona is a better power hitting team than the Dodgers. They've got so many good bats over there with Jake Lamb, AJ Pollock, Paul Goldschmidt, JD Martinez. I think the Diamondbacks are going to put up some runs against the Dodgers. One more thing I want to talk about in this series is the addition of you Darvish to the Dodgers. Darvish has one start against the Diamondbacks in 2017 since he moved to the Dodgers from the Rangers. He won that game. He went five innings and actually struck out 10 batters in those five innings. So he did really good against the Diamondbacks there, but he is 0-2 in the postseason with a 5.4 ERA. So after doing all that research and looking at these stats, it's kind of hard for me to say this, but I have the Diamondbacks winning this series at 3-1. to Maybe surprising to some of you, but I just, I, the numbers don't lie. So those are my National League and American League Division Series picks. Who are your guys' picks? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments. Give me your reasoning. I'd love to hear it. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more postseason coverage all throughout October. It's going to be coming in hot on the channel, so make sure you're up to date. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace.